Hi, I'm Mrs. G. This is Unit 1, Lesson C, Mathematical Expressions. Objective for today's notes is I can read a mathematical expression. So hopefully by the end of this video, you feel more comfortable with reading our math sentences. Now when you think back of first, second, third, basically elementary school, um, they kind of taught you those four basic operations of math and algebra. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And even way back then, they did kind of tell you these key words to kind of look for when you're reading math sentences. So just to kind of highlight, highlight those really quick, for addition, you do have um, sum, total, plus, more, more than. And if we think of another one, um, we want you to write in increase by. So anytime when you're reading these and you see these key words, it should indicate, oh, it's an addition problem. It needs an addition sign. Okay, for subtraction, difference, less than, minus, decrease by. Oops. So when you're reading those sentences and you see those keywords, that should let you know that's a subtraction sentence. And I'm going to kind of put a star. We're going to come back to that little subtraction thing in a, in a couple minutes. Multiplication, the word keywords times, product, multiplied by, of. When you see those words, it's a multiplication sentence. Division, quotient, divided by, divided into. Those keywords indicate it's a division sentence. Now again, this is our division sign in algebra. You'll see it with maybe a number, a variable on bottom, that little line. Just a, it looks like a fraction. That's a division. Okay, moving on over to our symbols. Quick review. Our equal sign. Our keywords are is equals to or the same as. Our less than sign is less than or fewer than. Is less than or equal to sign. You also might see the words at most. Or another one is no more than. Is greater than sign. Another one, another word you might see are more than and is greater than or equal to you might also see the words at least or no less than so good thing to kind of use this as a resource keep in mind that these are the clue word keywords that are going to help you read your sentences Okay, now remember I told you to remember about subtraction. Down here, important to note, when things are written, and you'll see um, coming up soon, you kind of go in the order that they state it. However, for subtraction, order is really important when reading and writing subtraction expressions. For instance, when you have the words less than, you flip the order, okay? Very important. You might want to highlight this. Um, so, for example, when it says 6 less than x, you are flipping the order here. Instead of 6 going and coming first, it comes second. So keep that in mind, less than, so makes a difference. Okay, kind of, so let's go down to first example. The directions here say translate. Translate means you're going to have to ask you to kind of read it and write the expression. So the first one says the sum of 2 and a number x. Okay, well, we know the sum is, it means addition. If we kind of go back up to our keywords up there, sum is addition. If you have to look back, that's okay. So we're going to be adding 2 and x. So 2 plus x. In kind of the order that it says, if you were to say x plus 2, it wouldn't matter because in addition it doesn't matter. Okay, but 2 plus x, let's just keep with the order. This is would be either would be the answer, but if you want to keep in the order, stick with that. B, the difference of a number n. Uh, the difference of a number n and six. 
So difference, again, is subtraction. We kind of look, oh, order, we're not going to be flipping there. So we want to keep it in the order that it's shown. So n minus 6. Okay, the next one, 12 times a number y. If we look back into our keywords, times is multiplication. So 12y is what we're looking for. If you put 12 times y, yes, that would be correct, but this is the more high school algebraic expression we're looking for. And the last one, a little bit more trickier, um, it has a couple different directions for us. 5 less than 3 times a number. So we're going to be having two things in there to kind of worry about. Less than means we're flipping. So I'm just going to make a little arrow here to indicate I'm flipping. And 3 times a number goes together. So 3 times a number, we'll say that's x. 3x, and we're flipping this, is 5 is less than that, so we're going to be minusing 5. So 5 less than 3 times a number. Okay. You tries again, we'll be keeping in for tomorrow for warm up. So kind of bypass that and go to page 2 of your notes. Okay, for example two, carefully read and answer each question. Okay, determine which operation to use and in the following scenario and explain why. Now I'm just going to kind of highlight my directions here. So I need to know the operation and I need to know why. Okay, the length of a swimming pool is 25 yards more than its width. Express, express the length of the swimming pool and its width. So I also need to express here. So I, the directions are asking me to do three things. Kind of tricky. So Highlighting your keywords, checking back to make sure you covered it all is important. So the length of a swimming pool is 25 yards more than its width. Well, whatever the width W is, the length is 25 more than this. So that's what I'm just going to write here because I'm going to have to determine the operation and explain why. So whatever the width W is the length is 25 more than this. Okay, so length of the swimming pool is 25 more than means plus the width. Okay. So basically, if you kind of recall that more than means plus that much, so you're going to be adding 25 to W. And since I need to explain, I need to kind of write that all out. So I'm going to kind of repeat what I just said. Recall that more than means plus that much plus that much. So I will be adding 25 to W. Okay, so I determined the operation. I explained why. Now I have to come up with an expression. Okay, so the expression they're looking for here is W plus 25. The length of the swimming pool is 25 yards more than the width. So I'm going to be adding 25 to W. All right. You try. We're going to do tomorrow in class, so skip over that. Last example for your notes today. Carefully read and answer each question. Okay. Highlighter out. You can work with you work with five other people at the ice cream stand. All the workers put their tips into a jar and share the amount in the jar equally at the end of the day. It's asking me to write an expression for each of the person's shares in dollars of their tips. Okay, so let me think here. I work with five other people. We all put our money into a jar. So amount in a jar. doesn't say how much money, so I'm going to give this a variable. I'm going to say that's A. 
and the number of people I work with. Well, if I'm working with five other people, I have to add me in there at the end of the day. So that's six total. So now I have to think of the operation. I have to write an expression. So out of those four operations, which one is going to be? All the, to all the workers put their tips into the jar and share it equally. So I'm going to have to take all that money and divide it up by six people. So this is my expression, A divided by 6. So again, in algebra, we would rather see this type of answer. And I want to make sure I put it in dollars. So all I have to do is attach a dollar sign. And this is what we're looking for. Not too bad, nice and easy. Okay, we're going to try the you, you Try Tomorrow in class. What we want to do as it, in any notes is at the end, we want you to kind of fill this out. After watching this video, I can what? Fill out what you can do. Flipping over to that last page. After watching this video, I still don't know how to. This is where, again, you're putting your questions. You have a question. You're confused. Please be specific. To help myself, if you are stuck or a little unsure, circle what you're going to try and do. Rewatch the video. Ask a friend. Ask a question in class. Go to MRC. <clears throat> search the topic on the Internet or another. Now, on the bottom of your page, we want you to write today, Math Rocks. Make sure you do this so you can get your points for tomorrow. See ya.